So a key pair means that you've made an account, which is basically a wallet. So you can think of these as more or less synonymous terms for now. And the next thing that we want to do is view the wallet balance, which is where this function get wallet balance comes in. Get wallet balance is an asynchronous function because we have a couple of await calls throughout the function for here in purple. And this is because we're fetching information like the key pair and the wallet balance. So I'll just note down here, this is because we're fetching information. So let's get into the function. The first thing that you might notice is getting the connection. This is the exact same thing as before. And this is just to reinforce the idea of how you need to make a connection to the DevNet or whatever Solana cluster you're connecting to, whenever you do any process. The next thing we do is get the wallet. As we've noted from before, a wallet is essentially just getting the key pair. And so to get the key pair, one thing that we can do is get the key pair from the secret key, which is our private key. And this is the private key that we got before with our previous code. So you might be wondering, hey, Isabel, why can't we just not fetch a key pair from the private key and actually use the variable of the key pair that we had before? And you actually can. The key pair that we're fetching from the private key and the new pair are the exact same thing. The way that we have it written here though is just a new way that you can get the key pair with only the private key. And you can see why this might be useful if you don't have the key pair or the public key and you only have the private key. The other thing to note that in the case that this private key is invalid, so for example, if we give it a private key like one, two, three, four, five, and there is no private key that's one, two, three, four, five, then it'll throw an error. So this is what this part is for to catch the error of if the private key is invalid. So moving on down to this part, getting the wallet balance. We can get the wallet balance from connection.getBalance, where we put in the parameter of a public key. Again, you might notice that we can just replace this, getting the public key, with public key, the variable that we made before. But this is just to show that we can get the public key from the key pair that we made with the private key. So these are just two different approaches that you can take based off the information that you have. Also notice that to get this information, we have to fetch it through the connection. It's not something that's already available in the wallet. This is because this is information that we're requesting, which involves a connection. The last thing that we do in this function is console log the wallet balance. Another thing you might be wondering is, Isabel, why are we not just printing the wallet balance? And why are we doing a bit of like an operation here? This is because the wallet balance that we get over here is in Lamports. Lamports is the smallest unit measurement of Sol. To be more specific, it's exactly zero point, a lot of zeros. So it's actually eight zeros. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 0 0.00000001 of Sol. That is a lot of zeros. When we do procedures with the wallet, like reading it or adding it to your wallet, it will be in Lamports. So to convert it into Sol, we just divide it by Lamports per Sol. And that's why we do this operation here. All right, so when we run this function here, we should get something that says wallet balance zero soul and that's because we haven't given the wallet any soul yet so it should just be at zero let's run it on my computer okay so i have my terminal up and when we run it we get the connection and at the very bottom we get something that says wallet balance zero soul yay the wallet balance is zero right now because we haven't given it any soul 
In the next part of this lesson, you'll learn how to airdrop soul into your wallet so it becomes a bigger number. For now, celebrate that we know how to get information like the balance from our wallet.